that's for later. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. I forgot to put out my sermon, so I'm going to use my phone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to start out by reading to you Psalm 37, 3 through 6. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. <clears throat> so, when I was a little girl, people would always ask me, oh, like, what do you want to be when you grow up, Fee? And I'd always say, I want to be a doctor, but I was really lying. <laughs> so, no, but what I really wanted was to stand on a big stage with, like, all the lights on me and everyone, you know, like, seeing my name or shouting my name while I sang, you know, my latest hit from my, you know, platinum selling CD or something like that. <laughs> but... Really, I should have known that God wouldn't bless something so selfish. <laughs> so, um, fast forward to my second year at the Honor Academy in Texas. Um, first of all, I thought it was already a pretty big deal that I even went there in the first place and stayed you know, my entire year there. And so the fact that I decided to stay another year was almost completely absurd. Um, and it's not that I didn't like it there. I just really missed my family. And there were many times that I thought about trading in, you know, everything that I've learned for the familiar com comforts of home, but I feel like every time I actually got close to packing, I feel like the Lord had just always come in and, like, whispered to me, like, no, not yet, honey, I'm not done yet, <laughs> you know. And uh, I'm so glad I finally gave up my, my little phase of, re of rebellion with, like, fighting against the Lord, because... I now can look back at, you know, my time after that as the time that I've grown the most in my spiritual life. So, <clears throat> and I learned what it felt like to, to walk out in freedom. I found my true identity as a daughter and representative of the king. And I also found out that much joy came with being obedient to Christ. <clears throat> and uh, I want to read to you Philippians 1, 5 through 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. I thought it was pretty funny that it wasn't until I became comfortable with being in the background that God decided to, to give me the platform that I'd always dreamed of as a little girl. And, uh, he blessed me with the opportunity to be part of a band that traveled around um, the, the, the nation, or sorry, <laughs> Uh, he blessed me with the opportunity to be part of the band that traveled and led worship with the nationwide Acquire the Fire Youth Conferences. You know, my, my dream of singing in front of thousands of people came true, but what made each moment sweeter was that I knew I wasn't doing it for myself. I was doing it for my Lord and Creator, and every word that came out of my mouth was only to glorify Him. So... And uh, some of you are probably thinking, well, me, that's so awesome that you get to do that. And I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> but <laughs> God really has given me more than I deserve. I have wonderful parents. Can you show a picture? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my life is filled with incredible stories. That was me getting to lead worship um, at ETF. <laughs> oh. 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 And the Lord blessed me with a very loving and very, very handsome friend. <laughs> but above all those things, I have a Heavenly Father who loves me and will always take care of me and will never forsake me. And um, I just wanted to, to share a song with you guys. It's called You Are For Me. And I love that every time I hear this song, uh, it just kind of reminds me that the Lord is just always there for me.